Good morning. If you are visiting today, we are so happy you are here. Please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby so we can meet you and present you with a gift of appreciation. As we do each Sunday, we are joining together to sing songs of praise to God, read from the Bible, spend time in prayer, listen to a message inspired by God's Word, and gather around the Lord's table in communion to remember the blood and body of Christ and to celebrate what Jesus has done for us. Be sure to pick up a self-contained communion cup from the lobby if you have not already. Today is a very special day in the life of Westgate. It is Servant Sunday, and we will be filling out and collecting our 2022 commitment forms at the beginning of this service. There are forms available on every row, so go ahead and pass them around and begin filling them out. These commitments are vital to the life of Westgate and the ministries being carried out here over the next year. We are asking every family member to fill out an individual form. Once it is complete, pass your form to the inside or outside of the pew, and it will be picked up in a few minutes. It is a great day to worship our God, and we are so glad you are here. Trunk or Treat and Fall Funival will be Sunday, October 24th. Trunk or Treat will be from 4 to 5 p.m. in the back parking lot. There will be gift card prizes given to the top three decorated trunks and every teenager who decorates a car will receive a gift card. From 5 to 7 p.m. we will have Bobbert the Balloon Guy, inflatables, carnival games, popcorn, cotton candy, and more. We will also have a cakewalk. Please bring cake goods no later than the Sunday morning service next week. You can drop them off in the children's wing on Sunday or in the church office during the week. We are also asking every parent to sign up to work a carnival game for one hour. See Allison or the Westgate On The Go email for the sign-up link. Invitation cards are in the auditorium lobby to pick up and pass out to your friends and neighbors. We have designated Sunday, October 31st as Comeback Sunday. We are hoping to have everyone back for worship at the building by that date, and we hope you will begin inviting others. In addition to the auditorium service, we also have a mask required service simulcast in the gym. We are a community of believers and we need to be with each other in order to fully grow and develop in faith. The Pecan Fundraiser for Agape of Central Alabama is going through the month of October. Order forms are available at Sign Up Central. Sunday, November 7th will be our new baby and children recognition Sunday during the morning worship service. If you have had a baby or are new to Westgate Children's Ministry since May 2019, we want you to take part in this special day. Please send a picture of your child to the church office no later than October 24th. Yvonne Nevejan was the head of the National Agency for Children, a Belgian organization supervising children's homes. In the summer of 1942, the Nazis began deporting Belgian Jews, and Nevejan used her position to place Jewish children separated from their parents with other families and institutions to protect them from deportation. In doing so, she saved the lives of over 4,000 children by providing them with new identities, ration cards, and permanent refuge, leading people to refer to the young survivors as Yvonne's children. We should follow the advice Paul gave the Philippians when he wrote, Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. When Nevejan decided to act, she was not thinking what she could get in return. She was only thinking of serving a need and in the end she made a difference in the lives of thousands. In the same way, we should not be a member of Christ for what we can get out of it, but instead, the sacrifice of Christ should inspire us to die to ourselves and look for ways in which we can serve. And in doing so, we will end up being blessed as well. Let's join together and worship God. <laughs> 